Hello folks and welcome back to the Ready Go Tea Party and let's play Fallout 4. Today's episode is brought to you by Gage. Thank you very much Gage for your continued support on Patreon. I very much appreciate it. So, uh, first things first, um, for a perk, I actually killed one more turret and it gave me another turret point. Or, uh... Oh my god, I hear that music. Hold on. Uh, it gave me another skill point. I can't do armor level 2 yet, which is what I want to do. It's not until next level that I can do it. Well, or current level. I can... Next level. Whatever. Anyway, so I went ahead and put a point in Charisma. Go ahead and getting that ready. Uh, I also went ahead on back at the base. I built a water purifier into the river and, you know, put a power generator on it. It's giving like 10 more water. Like two or three more people have actually moved in, which is pretty awesome. Uh, but uh, anyway, so I had some recording issues. Thankfully, I caught it fairly early uh, because <laughs> I would have been super pissed if I had missed it. But anyway, long story short, uh, the only thing I've done is the, the quest that we're going to be doing is reunions. Uh, so we're following up. We're about to go talk with Piper. I still do have Valentine with me. I just wanted to see if there was any unique dialogue options that happen. So the only thing I've done outside of base stuff is to come you here. So. What's the Brotherhood of Steel? Why are they here? I have a hard time believing nobody would have heard of the Brotherhood of Steel by now, which I don't remember when, like, Fallout 1 and 2 took place. Like, well, 2 was definitely after 1. But Fallout 1, I forget how long after the bombs went off uh, that happened. But these well, guys well. do have a dialogue. Nikki Valentine walks into my office for a change. What can I say, Piper? You, me, and hard luck all seem to run together like acid rain down an old sewer. You, uh, including your client here in that analogy? So, you two are finally letting me in on this little case of yours. What's the story? Uh, hold on. We're, well, let's finish this dialogue. I see another issue, but let me, let me do this first. Kellogg kidnapped my baby. Handed him to the Institute, and I'm gonna find them and make them regret what they've done to me. The Institute. Oh boy. I've been investigating these creeps for over a year now. <laughs> the Commonwealth. And the mouths are really man. off. Feared and hated by everyone. True enough. Sometimes they snatch people in the middle of the night, and sometimes they leave old synths behind to remind us that they're out there, but to this day. There's one thing nobody really knows. Where the Institute actually is. Or how to get in. Exactly. But there's one person who has to know, right? The guy who just handed them Sean. Kellogg. Huh. Whatever you're thinking, it doesn't matter. He's dead. Yeah, I knew he wasn't gonna go quietly the moment I saw him. So, a murderer and a kidnapper gets his brains blown out by an avenging parent. Huh. Be a great ending if we didn't still have the biggest mystery in the Commonwealth to solve. Doesn't matter what he knew. I'd kill him again in a heartbeat. Gets his brains blown out. Huh. His brains. You know... We may not need the man at all. You're talking crazy here, Nick. Got a fault in the old subroutines? Look, there's a place in Good Neighbor called the Memory Den. Relive the past moments in your mind as clear as the day they happened. If anyone could get a dead brain to sing, it'll be Dr. Amari. The mind behind the memories. I hope you're right, Nick. Let's see. I guess we're gonna need a piece of Kellogg's brain. Enough gray matter to bring to Amari and find out if this is going to work. Jesus, Nick! Gross! Seriously? I know it's grisly, but what choice do we have? We got no leads. Nothing. That old Merc's brain just might have all the secrets we need to know. Actually, I think I already have something. Kellogg had this... This thing attached to his head. Cybernetics, huh? We may have just won the lottery. Whether we're riding this crazy brain train or not, we can't all go running across the Commonwealth, so... Who's coming with you? I have to go to the memory den either way, if I'm gonna introduce you to Omari. 
But if you want to head there together, just say so. Anything else you can tell me about the memory den? It's in Good Neighbor, a little slice of trouble northeast of ways. The memory den ain't just a fancy name, it's literal. A lot of people give up all their caps just to relive the good parts of their lives. Over and over. But not us. We're gonna try to dive deep into someone else's mind. I can meet you there or we can head out together. I'll head there on my own. All right. See you at the den. Don't worry. We're gonna get your boy back. Just a few more steps. While you two are out, I'm gonna do some more research. I'll be here if you need me. And by the way, at some point, you owe me an interview. <laughs> I want to hear how this whole story got started. All right, one second, folks. All right, sorry about that. For some reason, it would lock the game at 30 FPS randomly. I don't understand that. Uh, I'm not going to bother bother you with the beat details, but what's important is we're doing Dangerous Minds, which, again, I love the, these animations. So let's go talk to the good doctor. Oh. Hmm. What's that for? Don't worry about it. Nothing stays hidden forever. At least, not if I have my say. What's all these people with handcuffs going on here? Hello, child. Ooh. Come on, if I do. I'm gonna grab some of your Let stuff. Know if there's anything I can do to I actually did alone. read the synthetic or, truth, like, you know, offline. If you need anything proofread. Duct tape. Duct ladder. Damn, a lot of stuff in here that's good. <laughs> She's fine with me taking all this stuff, but... Oh no, don't sleep on my bed, you son of a bitch. Oh, stim packs? Damn. I also, what I also need to do... I don't know why I just echoed myself. But what I need to do as well is go and, uh... Grab that power armor. I've kind of forgot about it completely. Um, I haven't really thought about it. We've only got one of those fusion cores. We could buy another one, but still. Uh, anywho, let's go talk to the. Oh, this doctor's actually pretty close, it looks like. Unless that's just telling us how to get out of here. Guess we'll see here in a minute. Actually, yeah, I think this is just telling us how to leave, or how far it is to leave. But if you notice any visual problems, let me know. I had to uncap the frame rate. Very bizarre. Sorry for the bumpy... bumpiness in this episode so far. I don't know what the heck happened. Everything just went to hell. All of a sudden. Alright. So... wait, what? Why are you... Ah, uh, he's way over here. Alright. Do we? We don't have good neighbor, do we? No. We have this? Yes. It's hard for me to tell sometimes the difference between stuff we actually have and some the ones we don't, because it's... The ones we actually have found are, like, slightly brighter, brighter. But other times not. I might also change the HUD color. Um, I know some people don't like that lime green. Again, I like it because it's classic. But changing it on occasion might not be a terrible, terrible thing. My frame rate's not too great, speaking of, over here. About 40. But, I mean, I am playing on the... Oh, Swan's Pond. That looks radioactive as all hell. As is any water. It's actually pretty interesting that we don't get... Um, we don't get radioactive, or get ratted. Oh, shit. Son of a bitch. You don't get radio wasted or whatever. Get rads. Oh, good lord! Holy shit. I was wondering what that was. Now I don't know. Nope, I'm good. I'm good. Oh god, he's fast. Just to see why they call him Swan's Pawn. Yeah, if you guys want to help with this. Ow. God damn it. That hurts. Oh shit. Oh, and he broke my legs. Thanks. Wow, what a prick. Oh shit. I also uh, still have my dress on. Oh, a little upskirt there. Something for the dudes. 
All right, so let's actually put our armor on and let's avoid the pond for the time being. Helmets. Oops. Yeah, I definitely wish there was a way to, uh, like, say, okay, I want my charisma gear on now and push a button. Or I want my armor armor on. That oh, shit. <laughs> Come on! I, oh, brr. Oh, oh, God. This is like a super, super mute. No, nope, he tricked me. I'm good. You know what? You just do your thing over there. Oh, God damn it. God damn it. Stuck on every goddamn thing. Fucking run, take an AP. Graveyard. Rads. Everything sucks. Hello. Shit, we don't have that many bullets. Yeah, we don't have enough to take him out. Yeah, no. Not even worth spending the bullets. You just uh, hang out over there, buddy. I'm just gonna hang out on this bus. We'll be fine. Yeah, I'm not. Uh, I'm gonna leave that guy alone for a while. Me thinks. Let's play, little human. Let's, I guess. Hmm. Suck it. What if I? Okay, don't run! Don't run, little super mutant! Hey! You stole my kill! Now you're shooting at me! Whoa! You see me, human? This is death! Oh, you fucking cheap bastard! I'm gonna take it out on this guy from behind. I would loot you. You assholes. Meatbag. Oh shit. Pay for, that. pay for what? You're the one shooting at me, jack off. Get a little stimmy stim there. Some of these sacks of meat. These meat bags, if you will. Where are you at, you prick? I got something for you. I got something for you I think you'll like. And by like, I mean probably hate a lot. Let's keep it on the grenades. Where'd you go? Here, human, human, human. I got a treat for you. No blood to spill today. There's some down there. We'll go ahead and quick save. Did that one guy that was up here fall down there? Is that the guy I just kicked the shit out of? I think it is. And I saw some guys uh, across the way down there. Shit, yeah, grenades. Hmm, I guess he did. There's something up here though that we're definitely gonna check out. Come on. Another better pistol. Damn, tactical tuned pipe bolt action rifle, compensated hard something, something, something. I hate you can't move bodies around like you could in Skyrim. Like, grab them and move them about. Put them in awkward positions. You better hope you don't roll out of bed up here. You will be having a bad day. Alright, we gotta go find the super mutants. I can't, uh... Not, uh God damn it. I was trying to land. Alright, um... Where is Quan a stick? Mutt chops. Unlock this door. Whoa! Oh whoa! Uh, I wanna guess this is because we unlocked the FPS. 
Ugh. I'm gonna have to uh, reboot again because that makes that very weird. That makes it a little bit more difficult to do. Ooh, knuckles, good. We wanted more knuckles so that we could skull faceplate, eh? Uh, that looked a little bit faster as well. But yeah, I wanted a separate set of knuckles that were that attack that did bonus damage versus armor. Wow, got a lot of stuff. We're gonna be overburdened in no time. Awesome. <laughs> it is funny seeing some of the stuff that happens when you uncap the frame rate. Because, you know, the developers worked in mind with capping the frame rate, which is always bad. Oh, hello. There's nobody here. What are you shooting at? There's clearly nobody here. Guy. You are obviously delusional. Ah, shit. You pussy. Get up here. Hit like a rad roach. <laughs> you just took a ton of damage, son. I wouldn't be running your damn mouth. Little bitch. Oh, you shoot like a rad roach. Haha. <laughs> Alright, let's switch over to, uh... Let's have a cocktail party, bitch. Let's throw it worse than we did before. That's what I was going for. I got a lot of these. You know, right now he's like, man, fucking humans, bullshit. Giving them in infinite, uh, infinite number of stim packs. That's bullshit. They should be limited. I still got 15 of those damn things. What? Yeah, it. Bitch. Pissing me off. Still gotta say, I'm a little disappointed by the super mutants so far. I feel like they're not really living up to their name. Had a little munchy munch here. Munching, crunching munch. It's love at first bite. Wow. We are definitely going to, uh, overdo it, I think. <laughs> Sounded like I farted right into the mic. I promise I didn't. I just, like, a cough came out of nowhere. I remember these meat bags, I think. From Fallout 3 or New Vegas? But yeah, this game's definitely encouraged me to want to play through Fallout 1. And, well, at least 1 and 2. Maybe even 3 in New Vegas. I've actually, the only Fallout I never played was, uh, was, uh, Tactics. I'd always heard it wasn't very good. I don't know if that's true or not, but I'd heard that. Also, top off. Honestly, with the frame cap, or the frame rate uncapped, it seems a little smoother. I could just be me looking for things. So, anyway. The frame rate does seem all over the place. So, like, right in it there, like right here, I'm getting like 36. Even though it does look, look good from this distance. I thought it locked up. I was just stuck. Good neighbor, I'm sure. This will be a great place to hang out. Old state house. Why can't we make a game in, like, Georgia? Not that I'd be familiar with it, to be honest. Even if they made it in Atlanta, I'd be like, huh? I don't recognize this. Like a good neighbor, stay hey, from- Hey, hold up there. First time in good neighbor? You can't go walking around without insurance. Fuck you. You better back off. Or you're the one who's gonna need insurance. What was that? I, I couldn't hear over the sound of all that pathetic. 
You hand over everything you got in their pockets, or accidents start happening to you. Big, bloody accidents. Whoa, 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 time out. Someone you fucking want some of this shit, bitch? The first time, they're a guest. You lay off that extortion crap. Good to see you again, Nick. Hancock? What do you care? She ain't one of us. No love for your mayor, Finn. I said let her go. You soft, Hancock. You keep letting outsiders <laughs> walk all over cock. us. One day, there'll be a new mayor. Come on, man. This is me we're talking about. Let me tell you something. <laughs> yeah. Why'd you have to go and say that, huh? Breaking my heart over here. You all right, sister? Yeah, hold on a second. Oh, I can't eat him. I was gonna do that, like, right in front of him. I'm fine. Thanks for taking care of him. Good. Now don't let this incident taint your view of our little community. Good neighbors of the people, for the people. You feel me? Everyone's welcome. Yeah, I feel you. Good. You stay cool, and you'll be part of the neighborhood. So long as you remember who's in charge. Hey, you don't have a nose. Totally dig your hat, though. I might have to kill you and take it. I mean, buy it from you. Wait, hold on. Let's save. <laughs> Everybody's like, nah. No problems here. We'll leave the cannibal the hell alone. This brotherhood of steel is. I'm not buying that come in peace malarkey. Yeah, they're full of shit, hey. most likely. Even though they weren't really evil before, I don't think. Guns, guns, guns. Well, you had me at guns. Hello. Everything here is guaranteed to injure, maim, or kill at your discretion. Except me. I only kill when I want to. Who... What are you? I'm a woman, baby. Can't you tell? You did have kind of big boobs. Oh, for a, a robot. of course you are. It's just all those metal plates. You're a robot, right? A very womanly robot. Designation Assaultron. Designed to provide a variety of security-related tasks to the modern man. Runtime conclusion. Why work for the man when you can work for yourself? New designation. K-L-E-O. Cleo. Fully independent small business owner. Robot enough for you, smooth talker? Now what are you buying? Let's see what you got. Murder and mayhem at a discount. Alright. See what we got here. <gasps> Ooh, hello. Chinese officer sword, even though we're not melee, damn. Frag grenades. A lead pipe. Missile launcher. Party starter. <laughs> Looks like we were the party ender. Oh, you don't have any hand to hand weapons or a walking cane? Shit, yeah. Trick that thing out. I bet this is gonna be, this would be fun to, uh, to trick out that Chinese officer sword. Oh, wow. Got quite a few. Damn. Oh, damn. 21,000. At first, I thought it said 10,000. Reflects 10% of melee damage back on attacker. Ooh. I like that. Definitely slows time during combat when you're at 20% or less health. That's pretty sweet, too. Holy crap, that's got a ton of damage resistance on it, too. Man, too bad I'm not even close to having that kind of money. Wow. But that is pretty sexy. Cage armor? Huh, interesting. Power armor frame. Hmm. I wonder what that is for. I noticed these shipments, too. I don't quite get, get those. Now, let me, uh, let me sell some stuff to this person. Robot, Fembot, whatever, and I'll be right back. Okay. Yes? Do we have a weapons workbench? We do. Mini nuke. Now I forget what I was gonna do. <laughs> the workstation. Oh, that's right. Gonna see if we can't make these other knuckles. I also did name some of my stuff. The Colombian handshake is the is the fist, if you haven't noticed. Uh, knuckles. Let's go ahead. Oh man, 
shit. We need one more adhesive. Damn. Well, if we get can find one more adhesive, we'll make that. I sold a bunch of those guns and stuff. Alright, what do we got up here? I wouldn't mind stealing some adhesives. Join the railroad. Take or play. Oh, okay, it's a... Uh, I was like, is that a game? I'm daft. Tonight, apparently. Wake up, Commonwealth. Since they're not your enemy, they are victims in this war as well. True, they were created by the Institute, but they were created as slaves. Thinking, feeling, and dreaming beings, utterly oppressed by their tyrannical masters. So join with us in fighting the real enemy, the Institute. Join the railroad. When you're ready for that next step, don't worry. We'll find you. Hmm, okay. Uh, let's actually see... There's nobody up here to see us doing this. Let's do this fairly quickly. L-O-V... L-O-V-E-S? Hmm. L-O... Nope, definitely not that. S... Nope, def... Well, yeah, we already said definitely not that. L O V E S. Nope. S C E N T. Nope. S O R T S. Hmm. Interesting. L. Nope. Definitely not that. Sent. S C E S C E N T. S O R T. Nope. Definitely not. Definitely not. L O V E. Nope. L O V E S. S C E nope. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. I thought this was hopefully gonna be pretty quick. It's definitely nothing that ends with S. Maybe that skits that as well. Check this. Let's go this way. L O V E nope. L O V E S nope. S C E N T C A U S E T or uh, no, that's what it L O V S since. Call a CA. Okay. That could be it. That's it. Yep. How do how have a plan to kill everyone you meet? Contingency plan. Daisy. Laser shot at long range. She's too close to home for outright assault to be viable without suspicion. Have a plan to kill everyone you meet. Oh, that's right. That's the I was like, where what have I heard that? Uh, well, at least the sniper in Team Fortress. That might have been a reference to something else. Hancock, kill bodyguards first, strangulation while she sleeps. Then load all doses of chems in the old state house with poisons. Collateral damage possible, but loss is acceptable without too much disruption to the business. Neighborhood watch, wait until super mutant or raider attack. High explosives at key areas of the defensive perimeter. Relocation necessary afterwards as good neighbor would be left vulnerable. Bobby. Centrus picked up digging sound recently. Workers and guards being hired at high rates. Wait until night. Sneak in the hideout. Dismantle lights, then kill one by one. I like you. Pay off one of his associates. Good help is so hard to hold on to these days. Magnolia. A fellow, a fellow working girl. Deserves a chance. Burn down the third rail as a warning. If she resists after that, clean shot to the head. Well, that's amusing. Let's go downstairs and make sure they didn't see that. They shouldn't have. There was nobody here. Every weapon you see here could be the difference between life and death, baby. Holy shit. That fat man launcher. Alright, good. Oh, this oh, is Daisy she was talking face about. Walks into my store, and you're not even screaming yet. Very polite. You let me know if anything catches your fancy. Got any work? I do, actually. Super mutants have taken over the old Boston Public Library. I got a lot of fond memories of that place from when I was a girl and human. You get those lumbering brutes out of there, I'll pay you 200 caps. Oh, nice. I don't think that's enough money to cover clearing out a whole building. Look, I've Damn been it. shilling deals for two centuries and you just overplayed your hand. The job's 200 caps. Take it or leave it. Damn it, I forgot to put my stuff on. Anything more you can tell me about the library? A lot of those pre-war buildings have automated security. Robots, turrets, that kind of thing. A lot of computers, too. Hope you take the job. You might not believe this, but I was a shy child. 
Books were like my best friends growing up. You got a deal, Daisy. Thanks. Hey, while you're there, could you return this book for me? It's from the library. Don't even ask how long it's been overdue. <laughs> Your fees will be insane at this point. All right, let's put on our charisma gear because we'll probably need it here. Formal hats and laundered blue dress. It's an extra three. That probably would have been enough too, damn it. Oh well. That's Daisy. what we get. Oh, you're back. Can't get enough looks of this lovely figure of mine. <laughs> no? <laughs> Guess you'll just have to shop then. I've got a few minutes to browse. Everything's guaranteed to last. Until it doesn't. <laughs> Alright, let's see if she has anything interesting off the top here. The Molotov cocktails. We could always use more. Damn, still no melee weapons. Or, uh, you know what I mean. Hand to hand. Creature wears movement speed by 10%. That's actually not too bad. But, again, it's left leg. Again. Why do we get so much, like, <laughs> unique stuff that's left leg? We got really unfortunate. Dirty postman. Oh, you're a really dirty postman, aren't you? Oh, buff out. That I want. What other drugs do you have? If any. Uh, Mentats, those are kind of expensive. Oh, does she have anything with adhesive? Uh, let me just do my shopping here, and I'll be right back. Alright. So we got some adhesive and the buff out. Let's see if we can uh, find some stuff here. I think guys out there he might see. Not gonna risk it. However, if we find something of use up here, we might uh, pocket it for, for better use. Cooler, Nuka Cola, and Iguana Bits. <laughs> we can steal that baseball and make a baseball bomb. That's just fun to say, baseball bomb. Say it out loud right now. I want you to say baseball bomb. See, she's starting to get a little a little edgier. She killed that guy. Nice she's like, you know what? Iron strapped on. Friendly advice. Running from something. But uh, yeah, she's like, oh, now I've killed that guy in cold blood. She didn't give a damn. She said she'd do it again. She's getting there, I'm telling you. All right. Armor piercing, superior damage. All right. Okay. So now we have those. I've we need to a find a good, uh, find a good name for those. The old state house. I think it's wanting us to go over here. Oh, that's right. The doctor Rebel goes. Right? Steel. Better stay out of good neighbor. All I'm saying. Yes, yeah, shit. They walk around in power armor all the time. I don't think they're you're going to scare <laughs> them too much. The gate, you got balls. Thanks. I sure do. Balls everywhere. Full of balls. You wouldn't believe the balls. Well, well. Mr. Valentine. I thought you had forgotten about little old me. May have walked out of the den, Irma, but I'd never walk out on you. Hmm. Amari's downstairs, you big flirt. <laughs> hey, Nick. All right, let's go find this doctor. I'm sure he'll be some kind of weirdo. Ain't nobody around Dr. here. Dr. Amari? Yes. I take it this isn't a social call. Or she. You're the one who can extract memories from a brain, Whoa, hey, right? Relax. Normally, we only allow our clients to experience their own memories. Now, what's this all about? We need a deep dig, Amari, but it's not going to be easy. The perp, Kellogg, is already cold on the floor. Are you too mad? Putting aside the fact that you're asking me to defile a corpse, you don't realize that the memory simulators require intact, living brains to function. Please. Nick told me you're the only one who could make this work. This dead brain had inside knowledge of the Institute, Amari. The biggest scientific secret of the Commonwealth. You need this, and so do we. Fine. 
I'll take a look. But no guarantees. Do you have it with you? Here's what I could find. What's this? This isn't a brain. This is... Wait, that's the hippocampus. And this thing attached to it? A neural interface? Ah, those circuits look awfully familiar. I'm not surprised. From what I've seen, all Institute technology has a similar architecture. So, the brain is still good, right? Possibly. There's no sign of decay, so the tech is probably preserving the tissue, injecting some kind of compound to keep it stable. But there's no way to access the memories inside without a compatible port. You're talking about me, right? I'm an old synth. If the Institute built me out of similar parts, we might have an in. There could be long-term side effects. I don't know where to even begin with listing the risks. Don't bother. I don't need to hear them. Plug me in, Doc. We should try plugging you into a toaster next. Hmm. Fresh toast. Ah, it's nice to know that even when I'm about to have a foreign object shoved into my noggin, you find new horrible ways to laugh at my expense. Whenever you're ready, Mr. <laughs> don't be, don't be a downer. If I start cackling Nick. like an old grizzled mercenary, pull me out, okay? Let's see here. Just can't have fun with this guy. I need you to keep talking to me, Mr. Valentine. Any slight change in your cognitive functions could be dire. Are you feeling any different? There's a lot of flashes. Static. I, I, I can't make sense of any of it, Doc. That's what I was afraid of. The mnemonic impressions are encoded. It appears the Institute has one last failsafe. There's a lock on the memories in the implant. How do you lock memories? The implant is encoding all the mnemonic activity in the hippocampus. Think of it like computer encryption. And we don't have the password. Let's see. A single mind wouldn't be able to crack it. But what if we use two? We load both you and Mr. Valentine into the memory loungers. Run your cognitive functions in parallel. He'll act as a host while your consciousness drives through whatever memories we can find. All right, let's get started. Just sit down over there and keep your fingers crossed. See you on the other side. Oh, this should be interesting. Well, I need that. Ooh, holy shit. And we definitely gonna need this, that dirty water, and the stem packs. And this jet That's doctor. As as you're carrying it. Ooh, the magazine. Crease the grognot. The oh, is the 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 little mini game buff out? Damn, doctor, you got a lot of uh drugs. You might want a problem that you want to talk to me about. Like how to get more drugs? That's my problem. Please help me get more drugs. Seriously. Just sit in the memory. Relax. Listen, lady. Ooh, wonder glue. Bone cutter? That could be useful. Okay. I'm trying to pickpocket her. Oh, this one? Ah, okay. That would make sense. It's right next to him. We're gonna have kind of an experience like we did in, I think it was <laughs> New Vegas, where we like, went into that black and white world. That was pretty neat, actually. I'm still mad. Initiating brainwave migration between the transplant and the host. That Nick was being a little bitch when I made a joke. From the transplant. It's degenerated, but it's there. We're going to load you into the strongest memories we can find. They might not be stable. Just hold on. Don't worry, Doc. Neither am I. Dun -dun -dun. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Go into the mind of the killer. Can you hear me? Ah, good. Whoa. The simulation appears to be working. Although the memories are quite fragmentary. I'll try to step you through the intact memories and hope we find one that gives us some clue to the Institute's location. There. This is the earliest intact memory I can find. Oh, I actually do jump. Remember, you are experiencing these memories as Kellogg. 
This may prove disorienting at first. That makes it official, folks. The final vote Turn down the goddamn radio! I'm trying to sleep! Joining the new California Republic. All five states have now signed on, which means that as of this moment, we are all citizens of the new California Republic. Hmm. I'm sure that's going to take some getting used to for a lot of people. Mm, what a joke. What's it mean, Mom? Nothing, Connie. People like to talk and hope someone else is going to keep them sane. Teacher at school said the NCR would bring back the good old days. Like before the big war. Don't you listen to that twaddle. I'm going to stop sending you if that's what they're teaching you. I'm going out. Where the fuck did you put my boots? Listen to me, Connie. You take this. You're old enough. No, he's not. Look, he's wearing a onesie. It's your job to protect us. Your father's useless. But you won't turn out like him. You're a good boy. And all that on the radio. All useless talk. The only thing that will protect you in this world is that gun in your hands. You need to learn to use it if you're going to survive. Mom's right. I, I will, Mom. I promise. We'll let you down. You've always been my good boy. This doesn't seem to be what we're looking for. There appears to be another intact memory close to you in temporal sequence. There. Try that one. Where is it? Whoa. Oh, there it is. I gotcha. This is weird. Final vote count from the hub is in 55% in favor of joining the new California Republic. Yeah, the hub was in Fallout 1. So he must have been around the Fallout 1 area. If they're talking about the it's hub and New fly. California Republic. You'll see. But we don't know anybody here. And now with the baby? Come on, Sarah. You've got to give it a chance. I finally got steady work with a good outfit. Nothing like that in the NCR these days. No, I, I'm not saying this was a mistake. I, I'm just... Are you sure these guys know what they're doing? They seem kind of green. I know, but that's where I come in. Just wait. In a few years, I'll be running my own crew. As soon as I make the connections I need. Then I can give you anything you want. And little Mary, too. I never worried about you before. Must be my mama instincts kicking in. <laughs> Who knew I had those? Come huh? on, you're great with her. And you don't need to worry about me. Most of it's just running security for the she. A lot of standing around looking tough. Well, they sure picked the right person for that job. <laughs> Listen. You're really good at standing around. It's gonna be great here. See this? This is what's gonna keep you and Mary safe. I promise. <laughs> Gives it to Mary, the baby. I'm sure we're gonna be really happy here. We are. You'll see. We'll be really happy in this degenerate shit hole. <laughs> you shut your mouth! I'll connect you to the next intact memory. Oh. Alright, let's run on down here. I will say parts like this I'm not crazy about in general in games, because like I know it's trying to like emulate you moving from memories and whatnot, but it wouldn't look like how we typically visualize brain activity, right? If that makes sense. Tunnel snakes rule. How did you think this was going to end, Kellogg? <laughs> you thought you could just fuck with us and we wouldn't fuck with you? Just so you know, they died like dogs. And you weren't there to help them. I found another memory to try. Hmm. I'll connect you. Yeah, it looks like they killed his family. He's probably kind of pissed about that. Oh, here we go. Whoa, 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 hey. Whoa. How did you think this was going to end, Kellogg? No, oh, here, just playing it again. <laughs> you thought you could just fuck. I don't know if that's a bug or if they were doing that over and over again just so you. you didn't uh you didn't miss it or something. But yeah, it looks like they whoever this is got revenge and killed his family. Mind if we sit down? Suit yourself. Girls, girls, girls. Red lips. 
So, um, I hear you'll take care of people's problems. Get the scar Tonight? now. If you pay me. Oh, we'll pay you. And uh, you'll do this all by yourself? That's right. We pay you when the job's done. Is that okay? That's the way you want to do it. So who do you want dead? Well, it's like this. There's his family. Lives down the creek a ways. Well, we seem to be getting closer. Try this next one. Hmm. So this is, I guess, when he became a mercenary. I guess, revenge, well, and two, I don't think he had the scar when he was busting in to what it looks like get revenge for them killing his family. So maybe he got it during that fight. Who knows? Mr. Kellogg, I'm glad you decided oh. to meet with me. So, you're with the Institute. He's got the second scar now. I wanted to see for myself nice if you really existed. We do, as you can see. What do you want? It's come to my attention that you've been rather disruptive of our operations lately. This must stop. I do what people pay me to do. If that's a problem for you, I can see only one way out. And what's that, Mr. Kellogg? If I'm working for you, there's no more problem. From what I hear, you can afford me. I don't think you fully understand the situation you're in. I think I do. Very well. B-748, initiate. Huh. Huh. Hmm. Impressive. We may have something to talk about after all. Getting warmer. One of these has got to tell us something. We're <laughs> running out of brain here. Ah. Ah, there's one that looks mostly intact. Connecting now. I keep expecting AOL dial up sounds. Manual override initiated. Oh. Cryogenic stasis suspended. Vault computers are still working. That's good. Checking through the logs. Hopefully it's all. Just find it. Pod C6. Down the hall near the end. That's not me. This is the one. Here. Oh, there I am. Oh, that's awesome! Is it Almost. Uh, everything's gonna be fine. Okay? Come here. No. Come here, baby. No. I've got him! Let the boy go. I'm only gonna tell you once. I'm not giving you son! God damn it. Get the kid out of here and let's go. At least we still have the backup. Cryogenic sequence reinitialized. What's the holdup? I'm almost finished, Kellogg. I just need to confirm. Come on, come on. All right, we're good. I'm, uh, I'm sorry you had to go through that again. I found another intact memory. Whenever you're ready. Hmm. Now, you know, seeing that again, I, now that we have the backup, he could have been talking about the baby. Manual override initiated. Uh-oh. Cryogenic stasis. Oh, he's just doing that one again. Is that your son? This appears to be a very recent memory. So, good news, I think. Piper's really done it this time. I mean, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not saying she's right, but... Mayor, you know, he's gonna be really mad this time. I probably shouldn't have even, uh... Kellogg. Said it today. It's okay. <laughs> One of these days, you're gonna get your head blown off just barging in here like that. Minimizing my exposure to civilians is a priority. Forget I said anything. So what's the big crisis this time? New orders for you. One of our scientists has left the Institute. Left? As in, 
He's gone rogue. Name's Dr. Brian Virgil. We know he's hiding somewhere in the glowing sea. Here's his file. But the crime. Wow. Some heads are gonna roll for this. Capture and return, or just elimination? Elimination. He was working on a highly classified program. No kidding. One of the top bioscience boys? Damn. So, I guess you're taking the kid back with you. Affirmative. Your only mission is to locate and eliminate Virgil. You're taking me home to my father? Yes. Stand next to me and hold still. Okay. Boom. He can teleport. He's a wizard. Wait. X688. Ready to relay with Sean. Bye, Mr. Kellogg. I hope I see you again soon. Holy shit. Teleportation. Now it all makes sense. Nobody's found the entrance to the Institute because there is no entrance. Let me pull you out of there. As soon as you're ready. <laughs> wow. That I was not expecting teleportation. I don't know if I like them having that kind of tech, but... Like, in the game, period. Obviously, those people at the Institute having it is bad. I don't know what kind of side effects the procedure might have had. No one's ever done this before. Whoa. How do you feel? Uh, am I okay? Are you seeing anything... Anything bad? Don't be Your alarmed, shoulder pads are horrendous, but, but... I honestly don't know what to look for. As I said before, this is uncharted territory. But your neural and physiological readings have returned to normal. From a medical standpoint, you're fine. Are you ready to talk about what happened in there? We got what we needed. The Institute uses teleportation to get in and out. Yes. Their greatest secret has finally been revealed. But that only leads to more questions. How does it work? Where do we go next? That scientist Kellogg was supposed to track down. Virgil. We need to find him. You're right. A rogue Institute scientist could answer all kinds of questions. Where did the memory say he was? The glowing sea? That doesn't make sense. No one goes there. Not even if they were desperate. Why? What makes the glowing sea so dangerous? The name says it all. Radiation. So much that nothing there could possibly live. Nothing pleasant. Navigating radioactive hazards is nothing new. But the glowing sea can kill a man in seconds. That's why it doesn't make sense. Virgil fleeing into that hell. The exposure alone. If we need to find Virgil, then I'm going after him. If you're going to go, be prepared. You'll need some way to combat the radiation there. It's called the Glowing Sea for a reason. How do I fight that much radiation, Doctor? There are chemical compounds. Radex, Radaway. You'd need as much as you could carry. Maybe more. A sealed environment suit would be great if you could find one. Or maybe one of those suits of power armor? That would be perfect. I'll find a way to get through the rads. Don't worry. Good luck. And be safe. By the way, I unplugged Mr. Valentine first. Removed the implant while you were waking up. He's waiting for you upstairs. Alright. Let's go to the chitty chat with him. The glowing sea is the new The Glow, I guess, from Fallout 1. Like the big, super ultra irradiated area. I guess we'll go talk to Nick. Uh, yep. Nick. Hope you got what you were looking for Whoa. inside my head. <laughs> that was right. I should have killed you when you were on ice. You want to try for round two, huh? Let's go. What? What are you talking about? You sounded like Kellogg just then. Did I? Huh. Mari said there might be some mnemonic impressions left over. Anyway, I feel fine, so let's get going. 
We have to head into the glowing sea. Any advice? Hmm. I'm a synth, so radiation isn't much of an issue for me, but an old suit of power armor might just be the guardian angel you're looking for. That or you could buy up all the rad X and rad away you can find from any chem dealer who's got it in stock. I'm gonna head out on my own from here, Nick. Good luck out there. You know where to find me. You should be one of my settlements. Farming is what you should be doing. But, uh, alright, well, we're gonna stop there. I haven't decided what quest we're gonna do next. Uh, I'm gonna hold off on main quests for a little while and try to tidy up some of our side quests. Wanna get those cleaned up. But anyway, uh, thanks again to Gage for your continued support on Patreon. You guys, uh, I also thank you for continuing to watch this series. Again, I hope you're enjoying it. Make sure to leave comments in the comment section below. Follow me on Twitter, and I'll see you next time.